What is it that needs to be done when servicing a hybrid vehicle? Find out in this video. So today we're working in this 2014 Toyota Prius C or Toyota Aqua, which is the same vehicle, by the way. And the thing is, we understand for hybrid vehicles, that's a combination of two technologies in order to drive one single vehicle. But the thing is, what's happening over here? Hybrid vehicles drive an electric boat, but they also use internal combustion engine. So what is it that needs to be done when you're going to service this vehicle? Let me show you. A combination between two technologies, an electric technology and internal combustion engine technologies to drive the vehicle. Oh, it sounds kind of complicated. What do you think, Benjamin? Complicated or not? No, it's not. It's, very simple. it's actually not, so find out. Now, the thing is, because the internal combustion engine of the hybrid vehicle, usually they use Atkinson cycle engines. That means fuel and thermal efficiency. That's it. Eventually, you still have to change the engine oil. But also, because it uses an engine oil, it also uses an air filter all right yes indeed eventually your air filter needs to be yes, replaced yes. the only problem is that look at the size of the filter look the palm of my hand this size this is ridiculous but anyway you have to change it every time you service your vehicle besides that we have injectors we have spark plugs that needs to be serviced every so often we have the brake fluid that needs to be replaced remember that about the brake fluid brake fluid is hygroscopy that absorbs water eventually you will need to replace it here's my point about the air filter yeah they're the same side but look at this one is clean and this one's not probably this one has a little over 5,000 kilometers yes it goes dirty pretty fast you're using a wiper motors that requires a washer fluid as well right here we just have to top it up with bulk wash don't use water the water oxidizes and the wiper washer is an electric motor with water it will oxidize and will cause damage to the motor so we continue now about the hybrid system the hybrid system remember that works with this powerful motor controller which we're going to call it the inverter in order to control the electric motor you need to switch on and off a bunch of transistors at a high speed that produces heat that's why this needs to be cooled with this coolant system, which we can see is in good condition. This one is to be replaced every 150,000 kilometers, which is fine. The engine coolant system, that also needs to be replaced 150,000 kilometers. Okay, now, what are we going to check under the vehicle? First of all, the vehicle suspension. We will see if by chance any shock absorber has a little grease, uh, it's an oily leaking, which when they're dry, that's fine. The shock absorber is to absorb vibration, dampen vibration, okay? Usually when they begin to leak, you see the shock absorber that goes a little oily. You know that a shock absorber needs to be replaced ASAP. Also inspecting brake lines. We also check in the tires, the brake line this, this side. Ay, why am I not surprised about this? The coil spring separator rubbers. I'm totally against that because this doesn't solve the problem. What I strongly suggest is exactly what I did to my vehicle. I just put a stronger coil spring, same size. That's it, vehicle does not fall down anymore. So let's continue. Now coming to the front, let's just take a quick look to the brake pads. We can clearly see the distance between the pad and the rotor, which is great. What about the brake lines, sensors, any cables? What about here the other side? Mmm, that brake pad looking very high, which is great. Did you know the hybrid and electric vehicles brake pads, they supposed to last almost forever. Remember that you don't waste your energy in friction, okay, because that energy loss in heat. So what do we do? We turn the electric motor into a generator, reverse the polarity, and then we will use the kinetic energy of the hybrid vehicle to absorb that energy and turn it into electricity and finally charge the battery the braking system in hybrid electric vehicles, brake pads, almost forever. Let's quickly check the condition of the engine oil. All right, still has a little color, which is good. The lifespan of the engine oil is way longer than a normal internal combustion engine. That's why the oil in the hybrid electric vehicles, you don't really need to change it so often, 5,000 nano. You can easily go 8,000 to 10,000 kilometers. That is more than enough, and you will still be changing a good oil for a good oil. How about the suspension, Beshma? Tell me. Yes, so we're inspecting the suspension here. We're looking at the axle boot rubbers. They're all fine. They don't have any leakage and stuff. The straps are all secured. Uh, also, we take a look at the large cradle bushing to make sure that, you know, we're not seeing any big drop or crack and stuff. So it Indeed. looks fine upon viewing. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Beshma. Oil is completely drained and completely dry and fully tightened. And of course, the new original filter. Let's check inside the engine. There you go. 
as beautiful as it gets. 3.7 quarts of the very best oil that you can find in the market. Well, easy because Amps Oil Signature Series for experience, I use it in my car as well. Every time I change this oil, every 10 to 12,000 kilometers, I'm changing a good oil for a good oil. That is the secret to keep the engines alive forever. Inside the driver's cabin, there is also an air filter that filters the air that you breathe coming from the air conditioning. That also gets a lot of dirt and debris. Let me show you. So the glove, open up this carefully. That's it. Taking out the glove carefully. And then we have this cover that we are still gonna take it out. And finally, we have the filter. Now this is the filter of the air conditioner. Look, we even have an animal. <laughs> so yes, this is the air you breathe inside your vehicle. So this filter, eventually, every service, you need to replace it. So let's put a new one. There you go. This is another story. Besides servicing the engine, everything, we cannot skip the most important thing, which is the hybrid battery cooling system. So let's check it out. Yep, right here under the back seat. Now remember, this is a regular customer, so she comes very often. And look, after just a few months of servicing, the cooling fan has a tiny little dust and debris, but it's not something not to worry about. That, of course, we are going to clean. Clean as good as it gets. So this is the basic service of a hybrid electric vehicle. What needs to be done, let's say every 8,000, let's say every 10,000 kilometers, do this and you will have a hybrid electric vehicle for a long, long time. So stick around for more tips.